Kyle from Kongama. Oh. And the country music playing. Yeehaw! Well, good day. Hi, everyone. We're actually off on another road trip. This time, we're heading down the south coast of New South Wales. We're staying at hip camps along the way, and we're working our way down to Eden. Yes. So uh, today, we're stopped at Jarvis Bay. We've got a little beautiful little hip camp near Hutchinson, and today we're out touring around. We're actually over at the uh, lighthouse here at Jarvis Bay. Yes, we're at Point Perpendicular Lighthouse. Yep. Which you can see behind us here is was built in 1898. Wow. So it's very, very old. Yeah, beautiful. So we hope you can come along and uh, join in this great road trip we're doing yes. over the next few weeks. Yes. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully show you some places to visit. Yes. all the places to see and do on this beautiful part of the New South Wales South Coast. Yes. Enjoying this beautiful little beach here on the Jarvis Bay National Park. So, what do you think of Honeymoon Bay? It's good. It's good, isn't it? Beautiful. Fantastic day. Yep. Been here since 8 a.m. and it's now, I don't know, 3 o'clock or something. So it's really nice. Yep. Put this on your bucket list. Absolutely stunning place this yeah. one. Yesterday we enjoyed a beautiful day at Honeymoon Bay in the Jarvis National Park. Today, we're back there again, but this time we're not going to the Honeymoon Bay. We're going where, Natty? We're going snorkeling on the other side of Honeymoon Bay. Yes, we're just coming down the, uh, the entrance road here. There's a campsite down the bottom in here at Honeymoon Bay. It looks quite nice. But we've got the trolley with all our gear. And we've got the uh, snorkels and goggles today. Best thing. Yeah, stunning day, beautiful weather yet again. So, and this is what we're looking at. Magnificent. Actually, we just found the name of the beach we're going to today. So many beaches here. It's uh, Bindi Jine. So, it's even got a boat ramp. So if you want to bring your boat fishing or whatever. So, yeah, not too bad. So Natty, here we go. Gonna go out snorkeling and have a see what we can find. Yep.
Today we're off to Kangaroo Valley. The last couple of days we head to the beach, but today we're heading inland. It's uh, just going up some beautiful mountains at the moment. Yes, it's got the Hampton Bridge and the Fitzroy Falls. Yeah, it's known for a lot of waterfalls apparently, yeah. so. Might, might be one or two kangaroos there too. Yeah, <laughs> Kangaroo Valley, you yeah. know. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, just going through this beautiful tree line road at the moment. 25k bend coming up. So it must be jumping onto the Great Divide range. the Hampton Bridge which is Australia's most significant timber suspension bridge and it was built in 1898. You can actually walk across the bridge. It's got a bit of a footpath so suspension bridge there at Kangaroo Valley and now we're heading out to Fitzroy Falls yeah. which is about 17 k's from Kangaroo Valley. So it's another bit of a winding road getting out there but Fitzroy Falls, 81 metre drop, and currently 640 metres above sea level. Look at that stunning valley. There's another waterfall in the area called the Twin Falls, 1.4 kilometre return. So we might just go and check it out, plus a few lookouts on the way. Arrived here at Twin Falls. Look out, but yeah, easy yeah. walk. 1.4k return and uh, well worth the effort. Magnificent. Small Falls. And what are these ones called? These are the Belmore Falls. Oh wow. Yeah, they're stunning, aren't they? Aren't they what? It's like there's two parts to it. Yeah. There's people down there. I'd love to be able to get down there. But yeah, look at those rugged cliffs. Oh, amazing country. So here we are at Kangaroo Valley itself. Beautiful old town. And look who I found loitering in the phone box. 
I'm phoning home. You're phoning home, Natty? Yeah, phoning home. In a beautiful phone box. Yeah, nice old so, one. Yeah, well, let's step back a bit and have a look. Okay, bye. It's actually located here at the pub. Kangaroo Valley Hotel. They call it the Friendly Inn Hotel. It's got some other nice things here. And I'll, I don't know. Motorcycle? Bike? Looks like Rudolph. Santa. Is that Marilyn Monroe? All nicely uh, COVID safe. Old sidecar, look at this thing. Wow. Amazing. So we're just leaving Kangaroo Valley now. It's been a great day. We've seen the Hampton Bridge, we've mm. seen the Fitzroy Falls, we've seen the Belmore Falls. It's been a really good day. We had a beer at the old pub. Yes. So um, in Kangaroo Valley. Yes. So, uh, yes. Yeah, we'll head back to our little uh, heap camp now. It's about, I don't know, 45 minute drive yeah. away. So, it's amazing. The way we've positioned this heap camp as a base camp, um, yeah. for all the things we've seen in this um, Jubbs Bay area in the hinterland, it's, uh, it's, it's been great. Yeah. So, yeah. Put this one on your bucket list if you can. Yeah. About 15 minutes north of where we're staying is the local dump spot. It's located at the showground here in Nara. It's off West Street and it's just up past the caravans where they stay, opposite the cricket ground and located here nice and easy. There's water as well, a few garbage bins. So yeah, dump spot located at the Nara showground off West Street. Here we are at our little hip camp here near Huskinson in the Jarvis Bay area. It's called Majestic Caravan Stay and the hosts Stacy and Brett can't do enough for you. We've been here for about five days now. Perfect location for a base camp. It's beautiful grounds, easy access There's power, there's water available. Uh, slight sloping block, nothing to worry about. We just put our little chocks under the wheels and just kept the caravan flat. Grass is beautifully maintained. Uh, it's close to Vincentia, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Huskinson. Um, shopping centres there at Vincentia. Coles, Woolworths, Audi, all your supplies you need. It's only about 15 minutes down the road. To get back out on the Princess Highway is only about 10 minutes. To get down to Jarvis Bay, the water itself is 10 minutes. So you're pretty well in the middle of everywhere that you need to be. Uh, we've enjoyed, like I said, five nights. Tomorrow we head off. We're actually heading down to Sussex Inlet. Where we'll be staying at another hip camp. So yeah, it's our final night here. Absolutely loved it. Totally recommend it. Add it to your tick list if you're wanting some accommodation in the Jarvis Bay area. It's uh, it's been so peaceful. Caravans, uh, caravans, kangaroos come out of the morning and greet you, and the kookaburras are there. As I said, the cockatoos that sort of live around the area. I'm gonna try it. Uh, it's been a... kookaburras. Here he goes now. But um, yeah, plenty of bird life. And how fitting the, the kookaburra on cue. There's a TV reception, there's a radio reception. It's been perfect. Thank you.